Tell <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, you might nearly knock me over then. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing, guys? Think Great. to Thrive, Mike Hendricks. Tony Mallet, back again. Back again. <laughs> outdoors, outdoors, just for you, just for you. Mike, let's just remind all of our viewers of that triangle that we, we're always sending out on our videos now for you. And it's the three corners, and the first one is we're going to present you with a problem. problem. Then we're going to present you with a solution. solution. And then finally, we're going to give you a energy, energy transfer. transfer. Yeah. Oh, that was good. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Mike, how have you been? I'm good. How have you been? been? Yeah, straight. it's been a good week. Straight. Back here again. We've been spied by helicopters yeah. again. Yeah, oh, helicopters come to pick us up. So, <laughs> we'll. Uh... Take us right, got a great quote for you, Mike. I'm just going to share with you now. The struggle ends when the gratitude begins. Wow. The struggle ends when the gratitude begins by Neil Donald Walsh. What do you make of that? Well, I think it's reminding us, reminding us all, regardless of what situation we find ourselves in, if we can be grateful, show appreciation, be thankful, we can turn the situation around. We can look at it through a different lens. And I think that quote is talking about that. Putting down the struggle, putting down the worry, and start showing appreciation, start being grateful, start showing gratitude. Mike's great for that, it really is, uh, it's, it's really good for that. Again, we're outdoors, uh, out in the wonderful autumn weather. You know, we, we always go out despite what weather, what weather there may be. But there's a reason for that again, biophilia. Um, our link with nature, very, very important. Not to forget that, especially to uh, combat stress and develop gratitude. It's, if you're outdoors gardening or walking, you'll become less self-absorbed. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree, Mike? That's Absolutely. a great, great solution. It will release the perfectionist inside you. You know, that perfectionist that's holding you in that place. <laughs> oh, you all get like that <laughs> We times. all take it out sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a perfectionist. And then uh, it will lower your cortisol levels. It will release serotonin, which mm. is that feel-good chemical. And finally, it's going to combat stress. So, Mike, I'm about to go... Uh, down the stairs. <laughs> into your bag of tricks. <laughs> to uh, get something. I wonder what he's going to bring for what, us this time. time. <laughs> Mike, what's this? Hedgehog. <laughs> is his name Harry? Harry the Hedgehog? Uh, I don't know what his name is. I found him in that bush over there. He was just sat relaxing and I just plucked him up. But he doesn't mind, he's got a smile on his face. Where the bow tie come, I don't know. But so it's yeah. Looking smart. He's smart. Now, hedgehogs. Mike, obviously, Hedgehogs can do two things. Now we're talking about gratitude today, okay? So you may be thinking, Tony, where is this going with hedgehogs? <laughs> but hedgehogs can be in two states. Yeah. One, they could be... Closed, protective, folded up into the ball with their spikes protruding out. Yeah, definitely rejecting everything, pushing yeah. everything away in a protective sort of mode. Or, Mike, they could be, as is this guy is, completely... Open. Open. Yeah. Okay, showing their furry tummies and sort of... Being soft and relaxed. Soft and relaxed. <laughs> and more likely to get someone to come along and give yeah. them a bit of a stroke. <laughs> a bit of a rub. <laughs> not, not, you know, avoiding the spine suit at the back. Now, you're probably wondering, where is this all leading, Tony? So I'm just going to go back down again. <laughs> just back down. Let's put him back in there. And we'll just bring up... <laughs> I'll be up in a minute, Mike. Okay. <laughs> right, here we go. Okay, gratitude. Now, this is something that both Mike and I do on a regular basis. And I'm going to show you something, Mike. Uh, if I take this piece of card like this, okay, okay and I was to get a, uh, something heavy, such as um, a book, book. What do you think, Mike, I'd be able to, the weight of that book would be held up by this card no. if I just did that? Unless you're very good at balancing, <laughs> but I'm sure. <laughs> It'll fall over. It's just going to collapse, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I want you to think of this card as us, as human beings. Okay, so we know that we're not going to support much pressure there, are we? We're going to collapse quite easily. But if I take the card and I create a concertina effect, such as this. Open it up. And I lay that down like this, and we will show everybody a clip now of what's going to happen. Do you think now, if I do that, I can support a book? Absolutely. Yeah. That's basic physics, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. But there's a point for this, uh, this demonstration. What Mike and I do on a regular basis is we create gratitude lists, don't we, Mike? Yeah. And what do you notice here on each of these squares? It's written down things that you appreciate, you're grateful for, show gratitude for. Simple things, nothing complicated, nothing too complex, just simple things. And I think 
the point is that for many of us, when it comes to our daily lives, we get caught up in the what if or why is that not? But if we were to spend a bit more time just showing appreciation, showing gratitude, saying thank you just for the little things. Thank you for the friends that I have in my life. Thank you for the job that I may have. Thank you for my fitness. Thank you for my health. Thank you for my ability to think. Just little simple things. It takes your mind off your current worries, off your current worries and stresses and just puts you back in that position of I'm grateful, thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's something that we do all the time. All the time. Isn't it? Yeah. And it doesn't have to look like this, but this is one way that you might want to start uh, to, to embed gratitude into your daily life. It's so powerful. Yeah. The reason it's powerful and on the other side of this weight. What does that say, Mike? Gratitude allows. Absolutely. <laughs> And, you know, we're laughing and joking because I think over the years it's something that we've come to do quite naturally now. Uh, we've spoken many times before in our previous videos. If you haven't seen them, just check them up up there. Um, we're always talking about the power of gratitude. And it's very easy, as I said, to get caught up in what's not going well. And, you know, if you're surrounding an environment where maybe friends or family are saying, why is this not happening? Or why is that not happening? Or I can't get my head around this it takes you out of the present moment. So just bring it back to those simple things of being grateful. Brings that stress level down, brings your appreciation levels up, and lets you look through the world from a completely different lens. If you practice this on a daily basis, this is the tool in that triangle, you will see a difference in your day, I promise you, because remember, gratitude allows. Really quick before we go, Mike and I are going to show you now how to do a, de a gratitude list. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go to refer to each square on the concertina. I'll take a turn, maybe Mike take a just show you how simple this can be. But we will detect a change in energy, I promise you, and then we're going to come across and share that energy transfer. So, so I start off Mike. So first of all, I'm sat in a coffee shop, I'm doing my gratitude list or in the garden. First one, thank you for the air that I'm breathing right now. Thank you for the air that I'm breathing right now. What was your simple. Next? What was your second one be Mike? Mine would be, thank you for the ability to be thankful. Having that awareness, you know, I say it's something that we've developed over the years, but having that awareness, I'm really appreciative for that knowledge and understanding how powerful gratitude is, so I'm thankful for that knowledge. <laughs> Number three, I'm thankful that I have a roof over my head and that I'm safe at night when I sleep. Number four, Mike. I'm thankful for the ability to have friends in my life. You know, some people don't, really appreciate friends but I'm grateful that I have really close friends Tony being one of them so I'm really thankful for that maybe number five number six we could go on we may just just do a couple more with you to show you that this is, doesn't need to be complicated doesn't need to be complicated I'm thank you I'm so thankful and so grateful that I'm able to get outdoors and enjoy the fresh air and, and, and all these wonderful plants and just just breathe lovely oxygen in that's just something I'm grateful for and I'm thankful to you you're spending time with us in the current circumstances, you could be distracted doing other things, but I'm really appreciative that you have taken time out to watch this and share a moment of your life with us. So I'm really grateful and I truly appreciate that. So I'm sending love out to you, wherever you are in the world, just watching this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a great energy transfer, right, <laughs> energy transfer. Come on, you can do this. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing right now, you have the ability to have choice, which is your most powerful tool to stop Fill in a gratitude list. It doesn't have to look like this. It could just be a piece of paper. Try it. We promise you it will make a difference Huge to difference. your life. A difference. So come on, you can do this. Energy transfer. Mark. You can do it to your success. To your, to your success. success. To your success.